Hey everyone, welcome to another video here on my beauty channel. This is going to be another tutorial. This one is using the Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay. So if you would like to see how this look comes about, stay tuned. The first step of this look, as always, is applying a primer. And as always, I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This just helps the shadows pop and stay all day long. The next step is taking this color tattoo from Maybelline called Bad to the Bronze and applying this just to my lid. And to do that, I'm just using a sponge tip applicator. And I'm going to do this a couple of times just to build up the color intensity from the color tattoo because I will be blending it out with my ring finger, which will take some of the product off of my eye, of course. So I'm just going to build this up and build this up. And this just provides a good base for the first shadows that I'm going to lay down. You see, there I go, blending away. And blending this out just provides a smooth surface for the shadows to lay on. Now onto the shadows. Of course, I'm going to be using my Naked 2 palette today. And the first shade I'm going to use is one called Chopper. I'm going to take a medium shadow brush like this. And I'm going to take Chopper and just apply this right where I applied the color tattoo. I'm going to start with patting motions, then swiping motions, and go back and forth. And I build up the color intensity to what I would like. And I love this combination because they're both bronzy colors and the chopper just gives a nice sheen to the color tattoo. Next, I'm going to take my favorite shade in this palette called Snake Bite and the fluffy end of the dual brush that comes with the palette. And I'm going to apply this to my crease. I'm going to concentrate it in the socket line, but I'm also going to go above the crease just a hair and I'm going to use windshield wiper motions and circular motions and apply this a couple of times to build up to the intensity that you desire. I'm also going to blend just a little bit of snake bite into the lid color just to give some definition to the outer corner of the eye. Next, I'm going to take the same brush with no product on it, and I'm just going to buff out around the edges and blend out any of those harsh lines created by the snake bite color. I'm also going to go and blend in the crease and the socket line a little bit as well. Next, I'm going to take this shade here called Foxy, and I'm going to use the same brush and apply this just underneath my brow as my brow highlight. Next, I'm going to take this shade here called Booty Call and just apply that with the same brush in the inner corners of my eye just to highlight in that area. Now I'm going to line underneath my eyes. First, I'm going to start with Snape Bite and my Sonia Kashuk eyeliner brush and start lining underneath my eyes. And I'll do this a couple of times with the snake bite just to build up the intensity. Then I'm also going to go in with the chopper, which is the lid shade, and smoke out that snake bite with the chopper. Now I'm going to line my upper lash line with my Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner in black. I'm going to start with the inner corner and then I'm going to not follow my natural eye shape and pull out just a little bit and then I'm going to connect with the corner of my eye and then fill in the space that is left. And this just gives the nice little bit of a kick wing liner and I just decided that I wanted to make it a little bigger. So, you know, make it as big and as thick as you like. Next, I'm going to line my waterline with Maybelline's Gel Liner in Black is Black. And I'm just using the little brush that comes with these liners. It is perfect for the waterline. And I'm just going to do this a couple of times just to get the darkest, most dramatic line that I can get. And I love these eyeliners. They last forever. They don't run or give you raccoon eyes. It's, they're just amazing. I love them. Now 
Now it's time to curl the lashes and apply some mascara. As always, I'm using my e.l.f. $1 eyelash curler and my Maybelline Colossal Mascara in Glam Black, my favorite, favorite mascara of all time. And I'm just applying my mascara in triple time. And of course, don't forget the bottom lashes. And the completed eye. I wanted a nice corally color for the cheeks, so what I'm using is Milani's Bait Blush in Rose Dioro. It's just a really pretty kind of pinkish peach coral color with some gold running through it. It looks very, very sparkly in the packaging, but on the cheeks it just gives a nice sheen and your face doesn't look like a disco ball. And as always, I just took a blush brush and sweep that over the cheeks. I wanted my eyes to be the focal point of this look, so I wanted to keep my lips very, very neutral. So what I'm wearing is Maybelline's Color Sensational Lipstick in Warm Me Up, and I'm just topping that off with Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Foiled. So that does it for this tutorial featuring the Naked Tea Palette from Urban Decay. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any requests for any tutorials or any other types of videos for this channel, please leave them in the comment box below and I will be happy to do your requests for you. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram and you can friend me on Facebook. And now I also have a blog. All of those links will be down in the description box below. Also, don't forget to check out all of my other channels here on YouTube. All of those links will be down below as well. Again, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye!